my name is Kazuo Hirai, and I'd like to share some news about our PlayStation and Curiosity services. First of all, I'd like to send my sincere apologies for the inconvenience the service outage has caused you and want to thank you for all the patience that you've shown as we work through this restoration process. Since the attacks on our networks, we've been working around the clock to bring game and media services back online. The service is being restored in phases, and I'm pleased to say that the first phase has now been launched in most regions of the world. This includes sign-in for PlayStation Network and Curiosity services, online gameplay across PS3 and PSP, Music Unlimited if you have a current subscription for PS3 and PC, access to third-party services such as Netflix, Hulu, Vudu, and MLB.TV, friends list, chat functionality, trophy comparison, and PlayStation Home. PS3 users will immediately notice one of our new security features. All PS3 customers must change their PSN and Curiosity account passwords. Your new password can only be changed on the same PS3 in which your account was activated or through validated email confirmation. And we will be returning the rest of our services, including PlayStation Store and purchasing features for Curiosity, as soon as possible. We know you've invested in Sony and the PlayStation Network and Curiosity services, and we will do everything we can to regain your trust and confidence. We also realize that actions speak louder than words, and we're taking aggressive action to address the concerns that were raised by this incident. And most important, we have greatly upgraded our data security systems. These changes were the result of an intensive investigation aided by some of the most respected forensics and security experts in the computer industry. Our upgraded system includes components such as advanced security technology, increased levels of encryption, additional firewalls, and an early warning detection system for any unusual activity that could signal an attack on the network. Now, what this means for you, our customers, is greater protection of the information you have entrusted to us. That is our top priority. I know that many of you whose data were affected by this attack are concerned about the possibility of identity theft. And for that reason, we're offering our customers an opportunity to enroll at no cost in identity theft protection programs, such as cyber monitoring or insurance in countries where such programs exist. I wish I could tell you that technology is available to completely protect any company against cyber attack. But unfortunately, the threat of cyber crime and data theft will continue to plague networks, companies, government agencies, and consumers around the world for some time to come. So what can be done? Exactly what Sony has done in the wake of this recent attack. Upgrade our systems to eliminate vulnerabilities and monitor aggressively so we can take quicker action if needed. In short, make the protection of consumer data a full-time, company-wide commitment. I can't thank you enough for your patience and support during this time. We know even the most loyal customers have been frustrated by this process and are anxious to use their Sony products and services again. I wish we could have restored the network services faster, but these attacks were serious and sophisticated, and it simply took time to install and test the new security measures across our entire system. We felt that we owed it to you to fully verify the security of the networks before restoring our services. And to show our gratitude for your patience, support, and words of encouragement, we're offering our customers a welcome back package of content and services. The details of the welcome back program will be available on regional websites for your territory and be formally announced in the coming days. We're confident that your welcome back package will help you get back to using the PlayStation Network and Curiosity services that you've missed. The last few weeks have been tough for all of us. And please know that we're doing everything we can to fully restore network services around the world and to regain your trust over the days, weeks, and months to come. I appreciate your time and support. Thank you.